we all feared, uh, my publisher, my editor, and I, that the book would never come to fruition. And that was very tragic for me because having read those memoir pages, I wanted to do anything I could to show them to the world. I knew that Prince had taken such pride in them and I felt that they really showed a new side of him and gave you an inkling of this wonderful second act as an author that he could have and I think would have had. Um, so I, I think from the start we knew that we could, we had to try at least to, to get those out there if we could. My goal rather than directing him or grilling him or taking a more conventional journalistic tack was just to keep him speaking about whatever he wanted to. I think he was really in the process of excavating his past uh, with with a level of detail and specificity that maybe he had avoided before. And I think he also saw that writing could really uh, accompany his activist impulses. Uh, he was becoming a much more political man in his final years. He was very supportive of Black Lives Matter and uh, quietly philanthropic. He would, he would give large sums of money to various charities and uh, helped women learn how to code. So I think he saw writing as a, another way into this budding set of interests that he had. And in addition to writing about his past, it could, it could help him really connect with people and, and get them to create and get them to understand his approach to intellectual property and, and ownership and things like that.